I used to believe in love. I used to believe that it was the strongest, most enduring, infinite feeling you can achieve. I used to believe in love. They all say it's what the world needs more of. It's all anyone ever needed. That it will fix everything. I used to believe in love. I used to believe in love. Until, Until I, I met, met her. Him. Exactly the exact same damn thing. Look, it's a non-issue. I'm not going to try to convince you of my side of it because you're obviously not going to see my side. So there's no point talking about it. No, that's not true. Listen to reason, but what you're saying is just completely wrong. Please stop, please. I want to listen to this. Why not? He doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't have an opinion. It's not my issue. That's all. It's not even. It's all our issue. I'm not getting into it. I'm with you. You can't say that. You're the one that started it. You can't shut up now, not after all that. I have to watch me. We are, we are in it. We are in the thick of it. We're in the rough. You can't just take a mulligan. Hey, what's going on? I don't want to talk about it. That's all. Everyone is and I don't want to. Look, they're just talking. They're just getting fired up like you used to. It's just... It's been a while. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what it is. I just, uh, not look, feeling it. It's whatever. Like, I don't even like this place. Let's, let's just leave. No, I mean, I'm not feeling this anymore. I think it's over. Really? Yeah, um, uh, whew, yeah. Are you all right, buddy? Well, I, I don't believe you. No, I'm not. I'm not. What is it about Brooke? Kinda. Oh, that's why she left. Yeah. She did leave. Well, when you are ready to talk about it, I am here for you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're just looking around and fucking forget where you are sometimes. Like, completely. <laughs> cereal should do you have time to go to the store today or should I close the door
it up. Peter, you have to eat. I'm not gonna fight with you again. What are you doing? What's the rush? Looking for my brother. Did he run away? Yeah. Where do you think he went? I don't know. He goes down to the 7-Eleven sometimes. What are you doing? I figured you could use a hand, or Look, at least a pair of legs. I told you, I don't need any help. Well, I'm gonna help anyway. Well, try to keep up. So, what's his deal? What do you mean, what's his deal? I mean, uh... It seems like there's something wrong with him. He's autistic. There's nothing wrong with him. He's like any normal person with autism. Do you run away a lot? Sometimes. But we were just kids and it was a game. You know, you don't have to be here. I know how to handle him. I don't need any help. You said that already. It's okay, I don't mind. I'm just gonna go on a walk anyway. It helps clear your mind. Maybe that's what your brother's doing. He's trying to clear his mind. I think he's looking for something. Aren't we all looking for something? That's deep. Don't go getting all philosophical on me. It's been a hell of a week. What happened to you? Nothing I didn't ask for. Okay. Hey, is that him? Peter! Peter! You scared me. You know you're not supposed to run off like that. You have to ask me if you want to go outside. You know. Cars go. Cars go. Where are they going? What are you doing? Thinking. <laughs> well, don't think too hard. It starts to hurt. Thanks for helping earlier. With Petey. Yeah. You with friends? Just me. Your folks ever help you out with your brother? Not so much. My mom left when he was little. It's just my dad, Peter, and me. I'm sorry. Don't be. If you have to get that, it's okay. No, it's, uh, some girl. Are you telling me that to make me think you're cooler than you really are? What? No. <laughs> wow, you really think I'm a jerk, don't you? No, not at all. I think you're kind. Really? Yeah. But I think you're just intrigued enough by me that you want me to be intrigued by you. So you say stuff like, 
not just some girl like right in front of me. All right, I'm, I gotta go. <laughs> no, 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 wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to attack you. I have a lot on my mind. It's not good for me. Usually when I start thinking too much, I go to my drawings and I work. But I haven't been able to lately. I don't know why. Writer's block, maybe. <laughs> but for artists. I don't have many friends, so I draw. And I take care of my brother and pretend that I have a real, regular life. But I don't. I never will. I have an extra regular life. Sometimes I just wish I had a regular life. It's getting late. I, um, probably go home. Okay, cool. Thanks for listening. Let me walk you home. Walk me home? I, I, you can still talk if you want to, you know, it's, it's not good to let these things run around up here. I don't need any help. I'll just listen. Okay. Sure. I still have to check in on my brother. He seems okay. Yeah, he's fine. Shouldn't he sleep in his bed? He sleeps out here a lot. He likes to keep a lookout, he says. Keep a lookout for what? Our mom. Nice room. It's home. So, uh, you live here your whole life, huh? Yeah. What about you? I don't remember seeing you before last summer. Oh, uh, you can sit, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, was in college. Before then, I was back east with my parents. And you get along with them? Not even a little. I guess that's why you moved so far away. Partly. There was also a girl. Followed her out here. We were in love. Not one of us was. It didn't work out though. I'm sorry she didn't love you. hard. Love. People. Relationships. Loving people is hard. I think for some people it's easy. I think the worst part about love is that you never think about it being over. You think that somehow it will last forever. But if you don't think about it, it doesn't mean it won't end. The worst part for me is never actually getting there. Never feeling comfortable enough to say the words. You've never said I love you before? <laughs> of course I have. But I never meant it.
pathetic. What? Nothing. Not, not, not you. Me. What are you doing? I'm trying to look at your eyes. Why? Is that me? Yeah. I can't get the eyes though. For some reason they're the hardest thing I've ever had to draw. You probably think I'm a total creeper. Maybe I am a little. I just like to draw beautiful things. You're no exception. You're a good artist. Thanks. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> That's Peter's. He wanted to add something. I think I should get going. Yeah, it's late. Can I ask you something? Sure. How did you... When did you end up in the chair? I don't remember. I've been in it my whole life. You've never walked around before, never stood up? No. Can you try? What? Just try. See what happens. I'll fall on my face. I don't want to try. I think you can do it. In fact, I know you can do it. Maybe you should go. Not until you try to stand up. What is wrong with you? I can't walk. I've never been able to walk. I'm not going to be able to get up. You haven't tried. If you don't try, then you never know what might happen. It's trying will magically make it possible. I used to think that was true. What? I used to think that trying to fall in love with someone was never going to happen. Every woman I met, I wanted to fall in love with because I wanted it. I wanted it so badly because even if I didn't feel it, I wanted it every day. I used to think that trying would never make it happen and that if you were meant to fall in love, it would just happen. And then I met you. And I didn't want to fall in love for the sake of falling in love. I wanted to try. So I got close to you. I talked to you. I, I listened because I don't know why, because the, the sun was shining the day I met you. If you don't try to stand up, you're never going to get out of that chair. You want to fall in love with me? Yeah, I do. I, I think I, I want to try. Stand up. I believe in you. You have to try.